Hey guys, what's going on? So we are so close to starting this thing. I'm going to uh, put some vacuum into the cooling system. This is a cool little kit. I've done a couple videos on this one, I think. But uh, the hot tip is you uh, use vacuum to evacuate the system, basically. It tells you if you have any leaks without leaving a mess. Puts the whole system under vacuum. And then when that's done, you use this hose you drop it inside the coolant bottle, have a couple of them ready, pre-mix it or whatever, and then you open the valve the other direction and it will uh, backfill the motor. So we close that one, we open this, we'll close this, and we'll see if it leaks down. If it leaks down at all, that means there's a leak in the system. Okay, so I see it leaking down, which means there is a leak in the system somewhere. So now we just find that. Okay, so we did the leak down and it actually was leaking. We lost pressure or lost vacuum. I just look around for the obvious stuff and that's what I found. The pet cock down there was not all the way tight. So let's put some pressure in it again and see. So now it doesn't look like we have a vacuum leak at all. So what this system does is put a vacuum into the entire system, collapses all the hoses, at which point if it leaks down, you have a leak. No leak down, no leak, no mess on the floor. Now what I do is I put a coolant bottle, drop this into the tube, drop this end into the coolant bottle, and open the other valve and it will backfill the system. We're gonna do that now. Okay, so I grab the gallon of coolant. We drop this in there, make sure it goes to the bottom. You can actually feel it hit the bottom. Now we just open this valve. That line just turned orange. It's gonna blow bubbles in a second. I'll shut it off quick and change the bottle. There's the bubbles. Mighty funny noise. Now let me just grab another bottle.